I'm Howard Baskin from Kansas City. When you uh, are estimating a growth rate on a, uh, a company I'm at, of a very predictable company, I imagine uh, you apply a big margin of safety to it. What, what kind of rate do you generally apply? I mean, high single digits? In the margin of safety or the... Uh, what, what kind of growth rate would you, on a predictable company, might you We are willing to buy at? companies that aren't going to grow at all. But, uh, okay. It, it, assuming we get enough for our money when we when we do it, so it, it, it we are not looking we are looking at, at projecting numbers out as to what kind of cash we think we'll get back over time. But uh, you know, would you rather have a savings? If you're going to put a million dollars in a savings account, would you rather have something that paid you 10 percent a year and never changed, or would you rather have something that paid you 2 percent a year and increased to 10 percent a year? Well, you can you, you can work out the math to answer those questions, but you can. You can certainly have a situation where there's absolutely no growth in the business, and it's a much better investment than some company that's going to grow at very substantial rates, particularly if they're going to need capital in order to grow. There's a huge difference in the business that grows and requires a lot of capital to do so and the business that grows and doesn't require capital. And I would say that generally financial analysts do not give adequate weight to the, to the difference in those. Uh, in fact, it's amazing how little attention is, is, is paid to that. But, uh, believe me, if you're investing, you should pay a lot of attention to it. Charlie? I, I agree with that, but it, it, it's fairly simple, but it's not so simple it can all be explained in one sentence. Our, some of our best businesses that we own outright don't grow, but they, they, they throw off lots of money which we can use to buy something else. And, Therefore, our capital is growing without physical growth being in the business. And we are much better off being in that kind of a situation, being in some business that itself is growing, but that takes up all the money in order to grow and doesn't produce that high returns as we go along. But, uh, a lot of managements don't understand that very well, actually. Zone one.